Hi, welcome to product review and test by Robojax. In this video, we are going to do the test of this back converter based on XL4016 with a rated current of 8 ampere. We are going to test it with the input voltages of 30 volts, 24 volts, 18 volts, 12 volts, and 9 volts, and with different outputs. And I'm going to show you also the thermal image and see where is the hottest spot on this device and what will be the temperature at different test uh, stage. Let's get started with this. This is the back converter based on XL4106 and it is with the aluminum casing can be easily removed and it looks like this here is the listing on ebay it's it's sold at different prices around eight or fifteen dollars and canadian i'm going to provide you the link in case if you're interested to buy it from any of the seller module have been rated incorrectly on ebay as uh, 12 ampere and i checked the specs the maximum current that this can handle is eight ampere and we are going to start with eight and go down and i'm sure uh, with the small heatsink, this will not be able to handle 8 ampere current. Aluminum casing make it possible to dissipate more heat, and also there is a, a hole here for adjusting the output voltage. And also there are two holes here to uh, access with a screwdriver to open and remove the wires. You can remove the cover like this. And here we have only one screw holding it. You can just slide it out. It's been labeled as input plus and minus. And here we have a fuse here, 10 ampere fuse. Here are the output. This is the out. We have the uh, LED that is showing the power. And this is the constant voltage. seems to be a diode to just protect the input from re reverse polarity and if this is the anode we should see 0. Point some voltage 0. 0.4 volts and if I reverse the polarity okay so this is just a diode that is XL4 XL401 Six. this uh, regulator first thing that was revealed that this is not 10 ampere because the maximum current is 8 ampere XL4016 and the input voltage is 8 to 40 volts and the output is 1.25 to 36 this is not a boost converter and this is the sh uh, shot key diode this is a high voltage rectifier and here it's MBR2000C the maximum current that it can handle is 10 ampere because two of them are uh, set because two is in one package like this anode cathode as you see here the anode one is on this side anode two is here and both of them are connected at the cathode the K is at the middle and this is the, the diode and if let's just check it here and as you can see these two are connected in parallel anodes and the cathode is here going to the inductor to this big inductor and from this side of inductor it comes and it goes here to the output terminal which is in here this of the module is 70 millimeter The width is 36.3 millimeter. The depth is 25.1 millimeter. This is the output voltage. The input is in here connected. That's the input. And that's the output going to the load. This is the electronic load DL3031. And these are the two terminals that from the circuit will be connected in here. And we will see the voltage here and the current and this is 
the input voltage and this will show us the current and right now you can see the input voltage is at 30 volts the input and the output shows 6.8 volts let's put it at 12 by the way it's very sensitive as soon as you rotate it uh, response And now the output is 12 volts, the input is 30. Let's reduce the input voltage. And uh, I will go up to uh, 15 volts and we will see if this stays still. I'm reducing the voltage here. 26 volts, 24 volts. The voltage is not moving at all. That's very good. 21 volts. 19 of course this is without any load which we will test it later with the load so now it's 15 let's see at what voltage the output will be less than 12 it should be one volts difference or more So it's almost the same 12.14 in here and we are getting 12 volts so very little drop input voltage is 30 volts and I'm setting the first lower voltage a standard voltage of 24 vol volts and I've set this at 8 ampere let's see with the maximum what it does 8 ampere and then it's 23.5 5 volts already dropped let's increase it and see so I'm going to turn on this counter and we will wait for now let's have a look at the thermal image it shows 73 degrees at this spot exactly at the regulator okay as you can see the voltage has dropped from 24 to 18 this is the internal protection and it failed you see the voltage goes back let's making 7 ampere now 24 volts 7 amp at 9 minutes it failed hundred seventy six watt and this is hundred sixty seven watt at 7 amp 24 volts the voltage has dropped already And as you can see here, it shows 97 degrees at this spot. Very hot. The voltage has dropped. 0 0.3 volts. Amp it can handle 24 volts output. 0 0.4 volts drop. That's still acceptable. Now the output voltage is 18 volts with input. 30 volts, 7 ampere. Let's continue. As you can see, the temperature is 92 degrees at this spot. So the voltage dropped, failed. Now input 30 volts, output 18 volts, 6 ampere.
as you can see the temperature has dropped to 85 and it shows that this is now able to handle 6 ampere very well so I will set this as pass now same input 30 output 12 6 ampere And now it's 95 degrees Celsius after 16 minutes. Input 30 volts, output 5 volts, 6 ampere. Start. The input power 36.6 watt, the output is 30.15, so now there is almost 6.1, 6.6 watt drop. Eighty two degrees after thirteen minutes. Twenty four volts input, five volts output, six ampere. Eighty seven degrees. 37.4 watt and 30.2 watt at 24 and 5 volts output, 6 ampere, passed. 24 volts input, 12 volts output, 6 ampere, as you can see it's 79.9, 80 watt input, 74 watt output, almost 6 watt, 5.8 watt uh, drop here. Seventy nine degrees after eleven minutes, almost twelve minutes. Pass now the input is eighteen volts, output twelve volts, six ampere. Let's see. Ninety five degrees now at this point. Pass eighteen volts input, five volts output, six ampere. As you can see it's thirty seven watt, thirty six point nine and the output is thirty one watt. The temperature is now 84 degrees Celsius. After 14 minutes, 6 ampere passed. Input 12 volts. Output 5 volts, 6 ampere. Ninety three degrees Celsius after fourteen minutes, six ampere five volts output passed. Nine volts input, five volts output, six ampere. Eighty seven degrees Celsius. For conclusion, that we can say that this module can um, convert f up to thirty volts of input 
and you can get up to 3.3 .3 volts as an output at different voltages and I've tested it. This device can be used as a back converter with any output voltage with input of 30 volts and with lower voltages with a current of 6 ampere. At certain stages if you need for a few minutes you can get also 7 amp but 8 ampere it will never uh, be possible because this heatsink is very small. If you extend this heatsink and make it larger or if you put some cooling fan then it would be possible that you might be able to get 8 ampere but 6 ampere would be the rated test for this uh, module. Thank you for watching this was a test and review of XL4016. If you like this video please thumb up if you have comment or question please type it at the comment section I'll try to answer a reply. For my future videos if you subscribe you'll get updates.